Hey guys, Ken Smith, KenSmithFishing.com. Uh, here at Grand Lake, practice is done. Uh, we're out of the water, it's about lunchtime on Wednesday. Uh, I've got some good practice uh, coverage. I'm not going to post it just yet. Uh, fish are hard enough to figure out up here. and I just am not sure that with my competitors just yet, if any of them are actually watching, which they're probably not. But nonetheless, uh, I've had a decent practice. Um, if I can catch five fish a day, I can have a pretty good weight. I've caught uh, several fish, uh, caught one almost six. I've caught some th several three and four pound fish. Uh, we've had clouds and wind uh, the last couple days of practice. And today it's a bluebird, it's still windy, um, and it's gonna start warming up. I don't think the warming up's gonna hurt me, uh, but I need wind, uh, and I'd love to have some more cloud cover. So we'll see how that all shakes out. But I got some good footage I'll get up for you guys. And, uh, I've enjoyed my time up here so far. And, uh, again, I, I feel pretty confident, actually. Um, I think one of two or three ways I'm doing some things I can catch some fish. Uh, I had said the other day on my drive up that I wanted to share a couple of ideas with you guys of things that are in the boat. Now, some of this stuff's on some of my old videos, but I think a couple of these things are, are just nifty. And I think you'll, uh, you, you'll it'll both help your fishing and make you more effective. So, Number one thing, I've shown this before. So this is how I carry myself. All this is, I bought these from Dollar General. You can buy them at Walmart, you can buy them at Target. These are ladies' lingerie laundry bags. What I like about them is they're breathable, so if your, your, tackle, your soft plastics get wet, you can, uh, it'll breathe. You can see I've written on them, this is my fluke and my D-shoot, D-shad bag, and they got zippers. Now, every once in a while you're gonna get them in, they're gonna get dirty, they're a dollar thirty a piece, you throw them away. They're way more durable than, uh, than having uh, freezer bags, uh, they breathe. Uh, I think it's just one of the best ideas, and actually my ex-wife gave me this idea. Um, I was trying to figure out something to do, and she said, well, hold on, let me show you this. And I have these throughout my boat, uh, and I actually have one in the box up here that's just called my day bag. So if I know I'm going to be pitching black and blue Senkos and a, and, a, and a green cowboy and a Zocco, uh, I'll put them in that bag, and that way I don't have to go dig the other bags out, and I can also lighten the boat just to take the stuff I know I'm going to fish with that day. So that's number one. Number two, forceps. These things come in handy so often. And I tell you, I've saved the number of fish. When you get a fish that's deep hooked, you can actually cut your line off and go up through the gill plate, grab the, the hook in, and pull that back out. And I can't tell you how many fish that saved. And you know, saving a dead fish saves the fish, but it also usually saves you a half a pound to a pound of dead fish pepper. Next item that I just love, my buddy Skip in uh, Houston showed me this. These bags, these tackle web bags, now this one's come a little bit unstuck. I've got these under a couple of different boxes. This one's gaiters and hats. The one in my rod box is gloves. So that's a really cool deal. Two more things. This one I saw in one of those what the pros have in their boat things. And it's just this little uh, black piece of plastic. It's got hangers and three magnets on it. So you don't get hooks in your floor. You know, Bodhi the Wonder Dog fishes with me quite a bit. I don't want him stepping on a hook. I want my hooks to dry. That's a great place to hang them. They'll dry. And uh, that way when you're, uh, at the end of the day, you just clean those and put them back in your box. The last thing, I got laughed at about this the other day until some guys saw what I was using it for. Back here in the back, I carry with me, yes, a toilet brush. Why do I carry a toilet brush with me? Well, in Texas and up here in Oklahoma as well, sorry, that was close. We have red clay banks. You get out of the boat to go weigh your fish. Your guy floats you off in the morning, walks down. He's got filthy feet. He can sit on the side of the boat, take that brush, clean the bottom of his feet, and you don't get that red clay or mud in your boat. I can't tell you how much I love having that in here. The other thing it's actually really handy for is, you know, when you put that stay alive in your live well, it puts that green ring on the inside of your live well. It's real handy to scrub that with as well. So, uh, as a matter of fact, I spilled coffee in the carpet the other day. I took a water bottle, I poured water on it, scrubbed it with my scrub brush, washed it out again, and it's gone. So, that is so handy. Again, Dollar General, I should be sponsored by Dollar General. I think I paid $3 for that thing. And when it gets filthy, I'll get a new one. So, 
hopefully those things help. Uh, they've certainly made my fishing easier. Uh, all of these things are things I use every day. So um, if you've got ideas like this as well, please share them in the comments. I mean, uh, a lot of this stuff I've gotten from other guys, especially the forceps thing. So uh, another thing I carry is hydrogen peroxide. Uh, Bill Wilcox of Honey Hole showed me once that uh, you can pour that on a fish that's bleeding and a lot of times it'll help them survive. So there's a bottle of hydrogen peroxide in here. If you've got ideas like that, share them. And uh, I think we'll all enjoy it. So. Uh, I'll get some fishing video up. I don't know when it'll be. It'll be in the next few days. Obviously, I'm about to fish hard for a couple days, but um, I got some good video up here. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, I know it's warmer back home in Texas, but uh, I think the fishing up here is going to be decent for the next few days. It's been tough, but I think it's going to be decent. So, until next time, we'll talk to you guys soon, and uh, be safe. Thanks.